chapter 3. We now come to the last chapter of this book, Habakkuk. And in this chapter, if we remember back to that table, um, now he is on the mountain. First he was in a spiritual valley, a bit down, a bit depressed. He went to the tower and sought the Lord. And now he is on the mountain top where he sees and he enjoys God's grace and, 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 and revelation. And what do you do when you're on the mountain top? Praise God. You worship Him. Yeah, you celebrate in His presence. So he was worshipping God and witnessing and telling the, the world. Now his channel is not blocked. His channel has been cleared. Now he can go and tell the people. So he was witnessing for God. And he sang. And you can see, he's no longer confused. Yeah, he got the right perception. And now he is having a pleasurable time in the presence of God. So, chapter 3, divided into three parts, we see the prayer of the prophet, verse 1 and 2, and then his program, 3 to 15, and then his profession, verse 16 to 19. So, let's look at verse 1 and 2. A prayer of Habakkuk, the prophet of Shingionoth. Can pronounce it? Mm. Go and practice. Next week I test you. Shingionoth. Yeah. Sounds like Japan. No? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, scholars don't know the exact location. Uh, so, take it as it is. Oh, Lord, I have heard your speech and was afraid. O oh Lord, revive your work in the midst of the years, in the midst of the years make it known. In wrath, remember mercy. So, this is a prayer, this is a song. Actually, he sing, he sing the song later. But, in prayer, he said to God, O oh Lord, O oh Yahweh, I have heard your answer. Now I'm very scared. At first, he was complaining, God, why don't you do something? Now as we read, he's probably saying, God, you are doing too much. You are doing too much. I've heard your answer, your, your speech, and was afraid. O oh Lord, revive your work in the midst of the years. In the midst of the years, make it known. So, God, do your work. In other words, God, do what you say you are going to do. And that is good news or bad news? Good news or bad news? It depends. If you are the Babylonians, uh, it's bad news. That means judgment is executed. But if you are the Jews, the people in Judah, oh, it's good news. In the midst of the years, make it known. Keep doing, Lord, keep doing. Do, do what you have said you will do. But in wrath, in wrath, remember mercy. Because you know why? Because when you slap, all of us also cut down. When you sweep, ma, uh, the, the, the Babylonians get punished and we, we might also be caught in the fire. So Lord, in your wrath, in your anger upon the Babylonians, remember mercy. In other words, he was praying for the Jews. Uh, yeah? Keep us safe. Because in every battle, there are always casualties. Whether it's the enemy side or the friendly side, they will but call remember mercy. Verse 3. So, program. Program of the prophet. So, God came from Taman, the Holy One from Mount Paran. 
then see lah, then pause. I also want to pause, eh? cause suddenly out of the blue, eh? oh you're talking about Babylon, you're talking about all the the, the judgments you're going to uh, uh, impose upon them, and then you ask me to be patient and so on. And then suddenly you tell me, God come from Taman, the Holy One from Mount Paran. So where is Taman and Paran? Okay. So you look at this map. This is Israel, northern, and this is southern. This is Judah, Philistia, Philistines, where where they were, and Ammon, Moab. Edom, and then you find there is Tamania, Kadesh Barnea, Bosra, then you find Taman in this area. Then where is the other one? Where is the other one? Mount Paran, here, further south. Gulf Aqaba is a river already, it's the median, Mount Sinai. Desert of Tara is this area, southern. If God come from there, God come from there. Wow. Now I'm back to chapter 2. I'm complex. <laughs> but God's word is true. So, uh, <clears throat> let's look at Deuteronomy chapter 33. Deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 1 This was Moses before he died and he spoke he gave a word and it's prophetic so we want to read the first five verses of Deuteronomy chapter 33 that Moses uttered before he died. Now this is the blessing with which Moses, the man of God, blessed the children of Israel before his death. And he said, The Lord came from Sinai. Huh? You know, just now you saw Sinai, right? No, no. Ah, okay, then. The Lord came from Sinai and drawn on them from Seir. He shone forth from Mount Haran. He, and he came with ten thousands of saints from his right hand came a fiery law for them. Now, where did Moses go to collect the law from God? Sinai, right? Yeah. So God was there and Moses went up to meet him and came down with the two tablets and all the, the laws. So he went and came with the fiery law for them. Yes, he loves his people, the people. All his saints are in your hand. They sit down at your feet. Everyone receives your words. Moses commanded a law for us, the heritage of the congregation of Jacob. And he was king in Jesurun when the leader